I am Aman Akas, and I have secured uh, rank 360 in this recently concluded UPSC 2021. Uh, basically, this was my sixth attempt. Uh, so yeah, one attempt too many I have given. Am I not audible? Hello. Okay, so this was my sixth attempt. And uh, of course, I have, I have said one attempt is too many. So in a way, I have a dubious distinction of writing 12 essay in UPSC itself and uh, got it evaluated by the UPSC boards. I have scored like 156 in 2016, 161 in 2017. Then I went on to join a service. I basically joined State Bank of India. So I was not having any much time, but still, I was managing to read. And this got reflected in my GS marks, too. I ended up scoring 65, 69 in GS3. And this got reflected in my essay, too. Because I was not getting any time to read. I was just able to clear prelims because I had my base intact. Finally, I came back in 2020. And uh, in 2021, I scored 129 somehow and uh, got through this attempt. So uh, looking at this mark this year, uh, this is one of the fair marks because you know the UPC has uh, scaled down the overall uh, uh, award of the essay. However, the main theme of the essay ha that has remained intact. So what is expected out of it? Expected out of you and everything. So I'm going to discuss on that regard. All right. Now the very first thing is, why essay writing, right? Uh, the very first simple question is why essay writing, and the very simple answer is because it is compulsory for 250 marks. That is it. Like the simple explanation. It is compulsory for 250 marks, and. Uh, Things have changed. Uh, things have changed in UPSC. Like earlier, if we look at the questions, you know, they were completely different than what is being asked today. You know, the main theme of the essay is to look into your personality, to see whether you are creative or not, to see whether you have context clarity, to see your language competence. There are many other things through essay it will be reflected. Through GS, they won't be reflected because you know, in the GS we have prepared something. The pattern of the essay earlier it used to be like a long GS question. So it was like climate change. Reality of fake. Second used to be like uh, in 2016 it was internet boon or ban. Third was like GS2. Federalism is a balancing will. Just look at these essays, you know. Uh, these are just like a long GS answer, like in, in instead of writing 250 words, you are writing 1,200 to 1,000 words. So four times bigger than the GS one. And uh, you know, there was duplication in the answers. Everybody was writing the same content. Because the content remains same for everyone. It is there in the book, it is there in the magazines, and everything remains the same. So uh, there was duplication. It was very difficult to filter out who are the genuine candidates writing essay or who are the candidates who have prepared well. So it was very difficult for the UPC to arrive at it. So what they did over the period of time is that they increased the subjectivity in the title of the essay itself. Now there is no subjectivity in it. It's very objective. The climate change, reality, or fake. So you know you have uh, two dimensions to cover in it. And you will be spreading over the number of dimensions. There is no subjectivity in it. So there is no abstract. Now, over the period of time, what they did is that they brought the ambiguity, the subjectivity, 
and therefore the content will be different for different people because everybody will interpret in different manner and this will bring out the creativity in you the originality in you so let's say uh, this time the one of the essay was i will be taking this as an example the process of self discovery has now been technologically outsourced now just look at this essay you know is there any subjectivity involved in it like if you literally look at this essay is there any subjectivity involved like the different people giving different interpretation uh after writing this essay i came and i checked on the youtube channels many people had spoken various content for this you know so the main theme line was technology controls us like in every possible manner the technology is controlling us how the first is like uh, through apps then you know healthify app they tell us when to exercise what to eat then through instagram we come to know what is a good personality so how to dress up and everything how to look good so these all processes of self discovery have not been technologically outsourced now everything technology and apps they are controlling us this was the major theme of everybody who talked about it you know this is a please sit down you can give me the board now <laughs> look at this term you know technologically outsourced and let me write another term outsourced to technology so let me just recap it you know to maintain the flow in the answer i just mentioned that earlier the essay used to be a plain gs questions you know spreading over 1000 words in instead of 250 words and everything we wrote was basically the language of the author the book we had read the notes we had revised from the teachers so there was no originality in our answers everything we wrote were mugged up well prepared so there was no uh, time crunch also pehle if you listen to the toppers they would say ki aise mein bahut chill hota hai because we save a lot many times unlike gs it was because there was uh, no need to think about the content it was already prepared through the gs and uh, the moment one saw the topic it was automatically coming down on the paper so in this way the toppers were saving their time the, uh, those who qualified they were saving the time but it is not so now because you have to think there then and there ab isko band kar do aap log so basically uh, now you have to think there so much so that you will be running out of the time at the end you will be feeling like i am rushing through it so yes one of the thing is it has become abstract i have given the example the process of self discovery has now been technologically outsourced now at the outset you will be feeling like yes technology control us this is the theme but look at the second line i have said like i explained through apps we are being controlled we are being told when to eat what to eat how to dress up everything but this theme if you look at the second line it feels like outsourced to technology you know there is a difference between technologically outsourced and outsourced to technology 
can you differentiate between these two like if you think properly here outsource to technology is the here the technology is an agent it is controlling you it is the end in itself it is controlling you but technologically outsource mean technology is the medium and somebody else is controlling you so there are two different interpretation in this essay and this is the catch one has to pick it up else everything will be go wayward and also pay attention to each and every word look at the subjectivity involved it was not there earlier so it is like it is like the process of self discovery in essay writing has been technologically outsourced to aman technology is the zoom for these people and the process of self discovery in the essay writing one theme and then if i am removed from this place the essay will be the process of self discovery has been outsourced to technology so zoom itself is controlling the aspirants and these are two different themes all together and many people will write on two different aspects so you know there will be a lot of subjectivity involved in it and now how it is checked by the upsc the thing is they give a yes to many interpretation as possible but the uh, cash line is that if you are not adhering to the main theme of the essay what actually being intended by it you will be penalized somewhere not heavily like people won't check your essay it is not going to happen they will check it but they will penalize you somewhere here and there so when i was writing the essay, essay i was literally sweating because i knew the catch you know outsource to technology and technologically outsource are two different thing i knew it so i was sweating what to do now like 20 minutes i had already spent and i was uh, still thinking ki kuch aur likh deta hu ki ye to bahut sa catch lag raha hai and then i felt like ki mere paas to hai 1000 1200 words hai so i can accommodate both the needs agar main koshish karu so so basically i tried to do ki ye main hu this is the technology ek paragraph mein teen char statement ye likha and i just extended it to the agent to make it a complete picture you know so both aspect jo hain cover ho rahe hain once you are talking to outsource to technology and then you have shown technologically outsource so there will be a scope of subjectivity in the essays you are going to write and you have to be very mindful of it and that is why uh, the need for the guidance and preparation comes in earlier it was happening with the gs but now it is bit, bit trick tricky but i uh, it will be a complete wrong if i say that it has totally diverged from the gs nahi gs ke hi content hote hain you cannot prepare anything extra for the essay you have the content through the gs bas ye hai ki yahan par you have to catch the statement itself aur fir uske baad gs aayenge thoda sa dimension change hua hai template change hua hai but uh, main demand of the essay will remain the same not talking about the demand of the essay एवरीबडी इज क्लियर ना कि क्या क्या एक्चुअली हो रहा है मतलब क्यों प्रॉब्लम हो रही है टाइटल पकड़ने में बिकॉज वो इतना वेग देते हैं बिकॉज दे हैव टू गिव यू द स्कोप ऑफ सब्जेक्टिविटी वो आप पर है कि आप किस तरह से उसको कैच कर रहे हो अगर आप टाइटल को अच्छे से पकड़ ले रहे हो अपने ऐसे में वो चीजें ला रहे हो सो देर इज चांस की यूल बी स्कोरिंग हाई और अगर आप टाइटल को नहीं पकड़ पा रहे हो यू विल बी स्कोरिंग बट इतना हाई नहीं जाएगा आप टेन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स का डिफरेंस आएगा सो मेनी टॉपर्स जो है अगर मीडियम स्कोर इस बार का देखे तो 105 से 110 है फेयर स्कोर 130 है एक दो लोग 140 में लाए हैं हाईएस्ट भी ऐसी अराउंड में 150 के एक आए हैं तो थोड़ा बहुत स्कोप आ जाता है एंड कन्वर्जेंस टू द जीएस वो थोड़ा सा डाइवर्ट हुआ है जीएस फोर पर आया एंड कन्वर्जेंस टू द ऑप्शनल ये हुआ है कि जो ह्यूमैनिटी से आ रहे हैं लेट्स से सोशोलॉजी साइकोलॉजी फिलोसफी उनको एटलीस्ट टाइटल समझ में आ जाता है कंटेंट फिर आप वो ऑप्शनल नहीं लिखोगे क्योंकि फिर बैकफायर करेगा बट एटलीस्ट दे आर हेल्प इन गेटिंग द टाइटल ऑफ द एस तो वहाँ थोड़ा सा उनको एक बेनिफिट हो रहा है बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे एवरीबडी इज डूइंग द सेम थिंग अगर आप प्रॉपर फॉर्मेट मेंटेन रखोगे प्रॉपर नीड फॉलो कर लोगे तो ऐसे में आपको स्कोर आ रहेंगे क्योंकि कंटेंट वी आर ऑल वेरी प्रिपेयर फॉर द फॉर द यू पी एस सी एग्जामिनेशन और कंटेंट हमारे दिमाग में होता है वी जस्ट नीड टू पोर इट आउट ऑन द पेपर लाइक यहाँ पर तीन चार लोग हैं जो मैं बार बार एक ही एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ अंदेविल भी लाइक अरे बंद कर इसको लेकिन लेट मी जस्ट गिव इन द जी एस फॉर्मेट इट सेल्फ 
जैसे कंटेंट जैसे डालते हैं लाइक जी एस वन इफ आई हैव टू एक्सप्लेन एक क्वेश्चन हो गया कि एक्सप्लेन द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द पीरियड सेवनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन टू सेवनटीन सिक्सटी फोर द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग विच विल स्ट्राइक यू इज द बैटल ऑफ पलासी एंड बैटल ऑफ बक्सर एंड द रीजन इज बिहार बंगाल उड़ीसा दिस इज द रीजन एंड यू विल बी राइटिंग टू फिफ्टी वर्ड्स एंड यू विल एक्सप्लेन इट एवरी थिंग लाइक इकोनॉमिक में क्या इम्पैक्ट हो रहा है मतलब इस क्वेश्चन में टेम्पलेट बना दोगे कि एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंट्रोल वेंट इन टू द हैंड ऑफ ब्रिटिशर्स इकोनॉमिक कंट्रोल वेंट इन टू द हैंड ऑफ ब्रिटिशर्स बिकॉज दे गॉट द दिवानी राइट्स एंड ऑल बट लुक केयरफुली कुछ चीज़ें यहाँ पर मिसिंग है इसको कंप्लीट करने के लिए वन इज द थर्ड बैटल ऑफ पानीपत कब होता सेवनटीन सिक्सटी वन द मराठा गॉड डिफिटेड उसके बाद या मराठा गॉड डिफिटेड सो देयर एबिलिटी टू रजिस्ट द ब्रिटिश पावर गॉड डायल्यूटेड एंड दैट्स वाई ब्रिटिशर्स इमर्ज एज द कनोलियन पावर इन इंडिया वन सेकेंड वन इज स्टिल मिसिंग इज द थर्ड एंग्लो कर्नाटिक वॉर Seventeen fifty eight says seventeen sixty three. So what happened? The French got defeated, and Britishers remained the only power, the colonial power in India. Now look at this thing. You had the content. Everybody knows these four wars. Everybody, Battle of Bhakshar, Palasi, Karnatik, and ba- Panipat. Everyone knows, but it's difficult to bring out on paper, especially us time me. वो नहीं आएगा. वैसे ही ऐसे में भी. कंटेंट है सेम वही कंटेंट आने वाले हैं जो पहले आते थे जी एस वन टू थ्री स्पेशली फोर एथिक्स एंड नाउ सोशोलॉजी साइकोलॉजी फिलोसफी और वट एवर ऑप्शनल यू हैव सो यू हैव कंटेंट इन योर माइंड द थिंग इज द प्रॉब्लम इज कि वो पेपर पर नहीं आता है क्योंकि उस तरह से हम थिंकिंग नहीं रखते हैं और उसको बस बनाना है इसके लिए क्यों न्यू कंटेंट होते हैं ना कि प्रिपेयर करना है उतनी ज़रूरत नहीं है यू जस्ट नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ योर कंटेंट प्रिपरेशन और उसको उसी पेपर पर लाने का वो प्रैक्टिस करते रहना है तभी आएगा तो ये गैस uh, फिल करने हैं नाउ लुकिंग एट द डिमांड ऑफ द ऐसे ऐसे बचपन से लिखते आए आई स्टार्टेड इन द हिंदी मीडियम टिल क्लासिक्स आई स्टडी इन हिंदी मीडियम सो आई रोड द फर्स्ट ऐसे कॉल निबंध ऑन गाय द खाओ नाउ कितना रहता था गाय के दो चार पैर होते हैं दो आँख होती है नॉल सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड राइटिंग ऐसे राइट फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगनिंग बट इज दैट रेलिवेंट इन दिस प्रोस्पेक्ट नो थेसिस में जो ऐसे लिखते हैं वो यहाँ रेलिवेंट होगा नो ऐसे कंपटिशन में जो ऐसे लिखते हैं दैट इज रेलिवेंट यो क्योंकि ऐसे यहाँ पर्टिकुलर डिमांड है और इसमें बहुत सारी डिमांड है तो बाकी तो मैं क्लासेस में कवर करूँगा सर आज आसमी टू टेक द क्लासेस सेवन क्लासेस पर हैप्स बट अभी मैं दो चीज़ें बताऊँगा कि दो कौन से डिमांड होते हैं इम्पोर्टेंट वन इज़ द क्लैरिटी ऑफ लैंग्वेज जब यूपीएससी ने ऐसे इंट्रोड्यूस किया था ना जब यूपीएससी ने ऐसे इंट्रोड्यूस किया था तो इट स्पेल्ड आउट कि उसको नीड क्या है व्हाट इज नीडेड आउट ऑफ द कैंडिडेट दे लिटरली स्पेल्ड इट आउट एंड वन ऑफ द डायमेंशन वाज क्लैरिटी ऑफ लैंग्वेज सो दे आर गोइंग टू चेक हाउ क्लियर यू आर इन योर लैंग्वेज इसका मतलब होता है कि फ्लो एंड कोहरेंस हैज टू बी मेंटेन इन ऐसे उसका कितना इम्पैक्ट होगा आई विल गिव यू एग्जाम्पल there was an essay this time there are better practices to the best practices you know ab ye aise relative terms some practices jo hain wo better hain kyunki koi best nahi ho sakta absolute term mein kuch nahi ho sakta this is the main thing no practice can be absolutely correct there has to be improvement over it so they, there will be better practices to the best practices this was the main theme of the essay we had discussed from the we have discussed uh like i had discussed with my friends you know ki what did you write in the essay itself and main theme remained the same everybody had got the context of this essay so uh, many people uh, spelled it out that uh, we wrote that uh, in 2019 world cup the best practice was to go for uh, counting the number of boundaries when the match was tied in the cricket it was the best practice so england became the victorious over new zealand however icc amended this rule and brought that there will be super over so new practice 
came because the earlier practice was not best so there are better practices to the best practices it's a very very genuine example everybody will be like okay yeah he has uh, used something out of his creativity or his nationality ye gs mein nahi milega kahin par to usne use kiya he used it because he saw the matches he had genuine interest in the cricket i also wrote on the similar line our constitution is our best practice you know uh, everybody follows constitution in india we have to adhere the rules and regulations however constitution itself has gone 105 times of amendment so there are better practices to the best practices the constitutionalism is the best one constitution is the supreme law of the land however it is amended from time to time so there will be better practices to the best one and in this line various dimension u gs4 kantian the means is the best practice then john stuart mill saying that the end is the best practice so in this way i was correlating with the gs4 now the thing is the marks were different marks were different despite having the similar content similar context similar comprehension the reason was flow in the answer unless you write and show it to the people nobody will be able to differentiate between the two one speaking out their content because the flow gets reflected from the answer itself so what happens is that somebody forcefully write economically or the in economic sphere this content this content this content and then politically or in political sphere this content this content this content it feels like a knot in the joint you know it is it feels like a break you are forcing somebody to move from one dimension to another dimension uh there is also catch with using subheading that is why those who have aptitude they end up using subheading and score very high and those who are not very well versed they end up using subheading and score very less because the earlier one was already setting the tone in the previous paragraph in the last lines and then was giving the subheading to start the new one so there was coherence in the answer what others do they jump off from one dimension write the subheading and they go on another dimension so there is no coherence here and marks will be different in this regard so one uh, one is the clarity of the language one has to be very crystal clear in it maintain the flow coherence and that's why you will be rewarded so even if you have the content prepared even if you have understood the title of the essay and you have put in very rosy poems and quotes there is still a chance you won't be able to score high if this one is not maintained because this is explicit demand of the upsc clarity of the language second is the dimension of thinking dimension of thinking now everybody knows this game the dimension of the thinking multi dimensional essay so everybody knows the temporal one the sectoral one so through the temporal one you will be discussing one context the say the title of essay in the medieval india ancient india modern india post modern india and then through the sectoral political economical uh, social environmental disaster management legal and all so uh, this understanding i developed in 2014 when i was listening to one of the topper uh, he had just scored 73 in the previous attempt me a 73 marks and then improved to 147 in the very next attempt and ended up getting under 20 rank so he had emphasized on it he basically said he wrote an essay on sports for youth good or bad you know and what he did he started with the storytelling so wrote two pages of somebody who was into the sports and uh, was not guided by his family because they had the economic uh, disability like they had the limitation of the economy and therefore he was not able to focus on the study too so ended up uh, doing the menial job later so it was uh, very bad for him for the family and in this fashion he went on for writing three or four pages and then he wrote the reverse one it was good because he ended up getting in the indian team was physically fit discipline and all so overall 8 9 pages were written and the answer was uh, done and dusted so ended up scoring 73 the mere reason was dimension of thinking was not covered so dimension of thinking if i have to say the temporal one let me just put in the another one temporal one 
it is like ancient medieval modern now just think on this line itself only the same as a sports for the youth so what happened earlier in the ancient time whenever people played together everybody came to watch the same and this increased the solidarity the com com uh, commonality in consciousness everybody felt they are the camaraderie they are the pal so this increased the solidarity in the society and the society was able to stand it stand the force of any incursions attack whatever so in this way it was very important for the solidarity second for promoting peace you know olympics the olympics itself came because we wanted to promote peace between the different uh, countries different societies so this is how the olympics itself came so in this way you will be able to write if you think on these lines the various dimensions through the temporal the ancient medieval modern and through the sectoral if you think how it helps in uh, economy let's say isl indian super league ipl indian premier league they give employment to many people the hospi hospitality one uh, the service sector hotels grounds groundsmen buses the players itself uh, many people are coming from the abroad so airlines so whatever so they are giving a boost to the economy it is also giving to the boost to the youth uh they are playing the games uh, earning something making an identity they are becoming the personality to help others uh they are promoting uh, ad uh, creating awareness like many plus virat kohli is campaigning for the good cause of the country so in this way they are also becoming uh, bringing in an ideology so sports finally has helped the youth to come to that level so in this way we also be writing on the political one sports for the youth have allowed them to remain disciplined and calm even when uh, the things are going wayward uh, sports has turned out to be a nationalism like cricket nationalism you know uh, when india won the world cup everybody was dancing on the street so in this way it has promoted the unity so in this way you have to break down the essay in various dimension dimension of thinking the multi dimensional it is the second need and it is emphasized a lot anybody you hear they will be telling you the same write the essay on a multi dimensional level now uh, the present scenario it is very difficult to go through this you know the psychological essay the abstract essay the process of self discovery has now been technologically outsourced if you try to put in the sectoral template it is really difficult to write now politically have to make a very macro level ke india use the constitution of other countries but technology ke through nahi kiya to us samay to tha hi nahi it was not the technology was not there that time so they basically used the constitution of other country to make our own so our it was literally like a bit outsourced but how was accommodated internally for our own suitability however it was not done through technology so at the time of writing the examination you won't be having a much of the examples to come through it if you start thinking on this template of sectoral one that economic political social so for abstract essay there is another dimensions you know it's like the institutions media religions individual academics like education ideology in this way you will be going forth and back and this way you will be covering a lot many thing so that a psychological or philosophical essay i will be covering in one class the dedicated class ke how to proceed it so the basically the demand of the essay is there seven eight demands are there two are very important dimension of thinking and clarity of the language and in this way other needs are also to be fulfilled and you have to be very, very careful that when you are writing the essay you are not writing for yourself you are writing for the examiner and what he is trying to do is that he is trying to find those eight qualities which have been mentioned and the moment it is visible he will give you marks nobody wants to read 1200 words if it is visible right through the uh, essay that you are covering okay dimension is covered there is flow because you are maintaining it at the end of the paragraph uh, there is a connecting lines or there is a coherence in it if one is able to say that you have understood the title of the essay all together by in the introduction itself the moment you introduce it itself and you uh, the examiner will come to know okay this guy knows uh, the title of the essay so his job will be easy and the moment you make the job of examiner easy 
he will reward you with very mar- very mar- good marks and if you force him to ri- read every line let me tell you no matter how good you have written he will deduct the marks to penalize you because you have made him work for that to hota na the underlining boxing the keywords they also become very important because you have to make the life focus examiner easy that is the main purpose of it you are not communicating to the upsc you are not communicating to your family or yourself you are communicating to the one individual who is checking the copy and that should be your motto to make his or her life easier through essay and so calls your knowledge in it so this was the another important one now let's come to the third one the structure of essay so everyone knows like js1 it has to have the introduction body and then conclusion so what does introduction mean set the ten set the tone want you want to say in the introduction you have to set the tone what exactly you are going to explain in the essay in body tell them what you want to tell and third based on what you have said make a futuristic vision these are the three needs of the essay tell them what you want to tell uh, means first one is the set the tone for what you want to tell tell them what you want to tell and then based on what you have said make a futuristic vision that is the the main theme of the structure now there are many method of the introduction one is uh, storytelling anecdote quotes poems look then uh, rhetoric paraphrasing whatever uh, i will be discussing it in detail in one of the classes but uh, let me tell you based on experience that i can value it anecdote is the tricky one if you have the aptitude no you will be scoring very high marks apurva ma'am she scored 175 she went with the anecdote but if you look at her essay you will understand she has the knack of it she had a lot of understanding so she went with the anecdote and she scored very high others in, in fact i had tried in 2018 because i was bored writing the quotes every time so i was like let's have a change and so my marks were also changed <laughs> drastically down so anecdote is little tricky why because we write a very micro story nobody knows so somebody uh, from baliga badu explained the women empowerment and went on to write two pages you know explaining the characters of baliga badu so what it gives it gives you a feeling of filling the pages but it makes the examiner bored and he knows you don't know anything so uh, the mindset is there so even if you have read uh, written a very good body part the examiner is all already thinking that you are no good in it and the marks will be reflected at the end which will not be in your favor so anecdote is something very tricky what happens is that sometimes while re- uh, telling the anecdote you end up deviating from the topic itself so when sir had written the youth one he had accepted that after two pages he realized that he was reading altogether different essay the thing the main theme was missed altogether and he had ended up sp- as the occupying two pages now it cannot be reversed so there is a bit of uh, the weight water with the anecdote but if you have the aptitude you can go with it you can really score very good when apurva ma'am used it it was again on the women empowerment and uh, she had written it that though the women are earning they are not allowed to spend the money Uh, in this way she had made the character develop and then the entire essay the character was dominant one and in and the end she uh, ended up with the character being empowered so it, totally there was a eco effect you know the examiner right from the very beginning to the end was able to correlate everything and that's why she ended up scoring very high marks 175 so one has to maintain this so th- everything i will be talking what are the types what uh, you can follow and uh, which one is the tricky one you must be very aware uh, which is the safe one you will be ending up scoring uh, not more not less the safe one uh, so we will be discussing it 
body part is like you no know, the everybody has the content you know everybody has a content i said in the beginning that they have diverged from the gs but they have converged to one gs that is gs4 there is a convergence so those who are apparently good in ethics are able to write good essay too so uh, if you see the topper's uh, copy of the essay you will be finding the gs concepts even the gs uh, ethics related concept of the history like charvaka indian schools of philosophy the sankhya vaisesika nyay those schools of thought uh, they are very much prominent in the essay uh, if you see the recent one so it has the convergence it has diverged from the gs 1 2 3 <laughs> but you can make the correlation you can use the gs4 as well as your optional to write the good essay so content is there uh, we will be working out on that how to bring out on the paper because like i said the 1757 70 61 64 everybody knows the answer like uh, let me tell you there is no difference if you make me write the essay right now many of you will end up writing a very good content better than me because abhi do mai i'm not starting for the last two months you know so you might have certain age over me with the current examples and you uh, might end up uh, writing better essay but the thing is uh, somehow i know the structure template and somehow i know where to fill the void and at the end of the day if you are able to do that if you are able to showcase your potential on the paper you will be scoring good marks so that needs to be taken care now coming to the conclusion there are many method again eco one like apurva ma'am has used the eco one like it started uh, uh, from the uh, story of priya and ended on the story of priya so there is eco there was correlation examiner knew okay this is going to end now so there are another method slok poem we will be discussing each part lekin i will be telling you one thing something is being duplicated in the market if you check the copy of essay of 9000 students appearing in the mains let me tell you 2000 end the essay with tamso ma jyotir gamaya wo vastu ma sad gamaya tamso ma jyotir gamaya or somebody will end up with when the head is held high by ravindranath tagore this is being duplicated okay so it is very easy to end with the poem but do not go for this too because everybody is doing it and there will be no originality the moment examiner will check the okay ho gaya that's it so you have to score very well in introduction and conclusion because somehow in the body parts either the examiner will glide through won't read it but he will be impressed or she will be impressed by your introduction and conclusion it so it will have substance it has to have the substance you have to bring in it so in this way uh, if you are going for it just look for your own poem find the poem you have uh, you are going to use like i was using the let me tell you don't use it now everybody will use dylan thomas the poem from the interstellar do not go gentle into that good night old age should run uh, old age should burn and rave at the close of day raise raise against the dying of light so it is a futuristic one is the dylan thomas i had used it so it is a safe bet but don't use it now na okay 100 use kar lena jitna bhi hai lekin this is a safe bet you know bring out the poem because at the end of the day when you bring out the poem poems are already very all, uh, always very futuristic and they set the tone that you are ending on a very high note like you music you play na the last map and the beat goes very high so in this way the poem brings the bit very high and you will uh, examiner will feel okay these things have ended and ended on a good note so this is how one has to go for the conclusion now coming to the philosophical essays actually it has a very different need but not so different but it has a different need and i have to talk in detail for it like especially one class i have to take for it to understand what is being asked like one i have said the template that it is very subjective and you are free to assume whatever you want whatever you have understood and you are free to write the content in your own manner bring out your own creativity originality but the thing is you cannot deviate so much 
you cannot show to the examiner that you have failed to comprehend the essay altogether because the comprehension skill is one of the demand like after two third is the comprehension so when you have failed to comprehend the essay no matter what you write examiner will read the essay give you marks but somehow it won't be as high as others there is another catch which uh, with the subjective one with the gs type of essay title it is unidimensional like there is one dimension poverty anywhere is threat to prosperity everywhere it is true you cannot reverse it like you know it is not threat to prosperity everywhere then it will appear like artificial so you are forcing it to just write the negative one but in the philosophical essays there will always be a scope to write the opposite one there is there will always be a scope because it is so subjective you can also write this dimension in the last two pages that the process of self discovery has now not been technologically outsourced it has not been done and you can bring in content a lot to make your essay very complete to show the other dimensions too because it was very subjective and it has been done basically you are not being controlled by technology or you are not using the technology as a very outside locus standing from you rather technology is an internal part of you so whatever change it is bringing it is bringing because you are demanding it to bring earlier people used to go and meditate gautam buddh meditated under the people tree and yes yes okay i understand first eight pages you will be writing in the dimensions in the premise which the essay has asked but you have to make essay complete so in the last two pages you will be showing the other side too by making a clear statement in the connecting lines of the paragraph that yes it is true that technology uh, that self discovery has been technologically outsourced however the locus of control is still in the hands of people and they are using technology as per their convenience to accelerate the process of self discovery and then you will be writing the which one so technology there is just second dimensions so if you cover that dimensions no you will be awarded a very high because one will be writing 10 pages in just one premise you have written 10 pages over two premise you have made the examiner understand that you have understood the essay and then you have also written the counterpart in optional we do we always write the criticism whenever something is asked from the thinker part let me tell you it is a time tested i have written is over 2 years and i have scored good marks so one has to complete the essay you have to write to the other dimension too let me tell you when i scored less marks it was 121 why why it was so there was this essay customary morality is threat to modernity this was the essay customary morality is threat to modernity yeah yes and i had uh, mathematics as an optional to kuch samajh mein i did not understand anything ki what, what was the title you know customary morality and modernity i had a very uh, the hollow understanding but still i could have done better but i failed to understand the need of the essay itself so i wrote customary morality is threat to modernity by making the same templates spreading over uh, the number of dimensions giving examples like i said uh, the morality uh, like the uh, the tradition is holding us back because one cannot like if somebody has to, uh, to start the business on the monday as per the week calendar our uh, tradition says that the monday is like a uh, auspicious day for the family not to start anything uh it will be shifted to the tuesday and this will be a uh, delay start so one does not have the rational the rational thing in doing something and this will be holding us back so in this way i was going uh, back and forth in the essay and uh, entire 10 pages i wrote on the similar line the customary morality is threat to modernity but the thing is when i changed my option from mathematics to sociology i came to know customary morality promotes modernity too we have gone for the indianization or modernization we have mobile phones with the hanuman ji on the wallpaper theek hai we have railways taking us to the pilgrimages kalka ji everybody goes to kalka to go to vasno devi 
so customary morality is promoting the modernity in india in its own way so there was second dimension of the essay customary morality is not a threat to modernity rather it accelerates the modernity in india and that dimension i missed i ended up scoring 121 had i done it i would have scored 140 around so one complete dimension was missed altogether in the essay and i paid heavily 20 marks for this particular one so philosophical essays they have different needs and you need to focus on each and every aspect and that is why in writing the philosophical essays you will be running out of time because you have and many things to write you have to bring content right in the examination time to write on the paper your nothing is prepared it is there in the back of mind but you will be taking time to retrieve it, retrieve it. and uh, by making a practice of it the writing essay the retrieval time the latency time will be reduced so you will be comfortable when you are writing at the end of the day in the real time so yes i will be taking the entire thing on the essay uh, the philosophical essay you know there is another topic vikram garewal sir he had uh, mentioned a uh, lot in the blog uh, uh he had talked about the sun, uh, substances and the weights now you have to bring weights weights means examples you have to capture the mind of the examiner so everything you write like in gs when we write uh, we we'll write about the civil society so in the criticism we write now civil society the international civil society they don't understand the ethos of indian culture indian society and that is why they are not very effective and productive in indian context for example peta against jalikattu the peta could not understand the cultural ethos of jalikattu and that's why they were demanding it to be abolished now once you have written the example peta against jalikattu the entire argument has been legitimized now the examiner does not question you at all and he knows that you have a good understanding of the things you have written so uh, in this way you have to legitimize every argument you write in the essay so you have to bring the wit you have to bring the examples to legitimize the argument you have made and it is easy to do we have many examples no matter what you write there will be example let's say the leadership there was a essay the leadership one the leadership plays a very important role in any organization and uh, one senior he ended up scoring very good marks and he wrote the entire essay through examples itself so what he did mahendra singh dhoni when he became the leader of the indian team the indian team temperament improved a lot became very resilient it was cool calm when saurav gangli was there it was very hot you know aggressive nature so same, same was the virat kohli so in this way he was uh, writing that the leader defines the tone of the organization went with the uh, mahendra singh dhoni in the international sphere he showed uh, that uh, usa is the ultimate leader uh, undisputed one now it is uh, becoming the multipolar but let's say the usa is the undisputed one the leader there in the usa sets the tone of the international sphere for example when the president trump was there there was a tendency somewhere like the international organizations uh, were not very resilient in the time because USA pulled out from the Paris agreement so there was confusion USA pulled out from the Iranian nuclear deal before that when the Barack Obama was there the international organizations uh, were having its own impact you now everybody had their trust on it so leader sets the tone of the organization so entire essay he went with the example and he ended up scoring very well so sometimes it is not like you are writing the example to legitimize the argument you can also write the examples to set the tone of your essay all together so you have the freedom to be creative as much as you can be the just the thing is just fulfill the needs the seven eight needs which is demanded from the upsc that's it now coming to the last point i'll be taking uh the rest thing there are a lot many things that uh, i will be discussing in the classes when i will be taking one there are problems in the essay uh, even i have faced it later one when i became the repeater because i had a lot of baggage so one problem was that forced incorporation of the facts you have read
so what i did is i i read about imagination something no, imagination and intelligence i read a very uh, good non fiction book and i had lot many content now they, this become a tendency you know no matter what the title was <laughs> i was manipulating the dimensions to incorporate those point forcefully because to me they they appeared so cool so i was like okay examiner will read now he will think okay i know a lot many things such a novel dimensions this happens if you have prepared something on women empowerment you will end up using in the social sphere one forcefully even if it is not warranted so there is this urge and what happens it also saves the time because you have already read it so when you are writing that paragraph you will go through like a night like a bullet train so this is the tendency just avoid it just be aware sometimes we are not aware of it we are doing it time and again ki theek hai this time the examiner caught me so next time he win he won't and i will be avoiding marks i will be saving my time just don't do it if it is not applicable just let it go you had prepared you will be using it in your lifetime but not here in the essay in that particular moment just don't force it it looks very now the moment uh, let's say i have evaluated few essay paper and the moment i see somebody has incorporated forcefully it is visible right there on the on the beginning itself it will appear okay you have forced it it was not there you have forced it so just avoid it second is that don't be over creative you know like don't uh, get trapped in the flow of the essay altogether and become very extreme in your language become very extreme in your thoughts let me uh, give you an example one of my friend was writing essay on women a uh, patriarchy is invisible structure something and he wrote women objectification is to such a level that many bollywood songs are coming like munni badnam hui darling tere liye and he wrote the entire statement there is a clear instruction from the upsc you cannot use such languages in any of the paper be it essay be it gs no matter what don't be so creative like uh maybe there will be many reasons for him to score but his score was around 91 many reasons hoga aisa nahi ki ek hi cheez ke liye uh, just for one line they would deduct so many marks there will be many other reasons he had later improved to a good number like 125 he scored but avoid such languages no matter what uh you are free to use the story of harry potter you are free to use the story of narnia uh, article 15 movie uh, the panchayat web series you are very free to use such stories to value add to your essays but never go for the negative tone one so even if you are writing something uh, for the negative negative tone one so like article 50 showed a very darker side of our society be extra careful while writing those things you know uh never go uh, and bring down the status or uh, what is the need of it because we at the end of the day have to conform to the constitutional norms have to be very mindful of what we are writing we have to be very balanced and what is not by allowed by the constitution cannot be allowed in the name of creativity there are other four five two but uh, let's keep it here for the two uh, only the problems in the essay writing the first one is very severe one let me tell you agar aapne prepare ke if you prepared for the essay na you will have the tendency ki i have given up so many hours i have given up so many hours to prepare this content and if i am not going to use it what is the use so i will use it anyhow or just don't don't do it keep a stone on your heart just skip that part uh, think other dimension which is suitable and then write it don't, just don't mend it yeah let me tell you if you have prepared uh, uh, facts figures some of them will be used somehow but do not uh, make it full of uh, burden what happens is that like i say uh, uh, those contents which you have prepared uh, they will give you edge they will act like a jewelry beautifying your essay because you feel that these are very novel but uh, the close will only help when you are presentable in your own sense if you don't have the content and you think by putting jewelry you will uh, appear handsome or beautiful it is not going to be the case so avoid that part uh for now this is it i will be explaining a lot but uh, if you have any query you can proceed and ask me anything heading you know uh 
अनुदीप दूरी सेटिंग सर हैड यूज द हेडिंग एंड सब हेडिंग नो यस एंड मेनी टॉपर्स इनफैक्ट आई हैड ऑल्सो नॉट यूज द हेडिंग सब हेडिंग लाइक आई सेड समबडी मेनी पीपल हैव द एप्टीट्यूड ऑफ इट नो दे नो हाउ टू फ्लो थ्रू द ऐसे सो बिफोर राइटिंग द हेडिंग दे ऑलरेडी मेक द टोन सेट अर्लियर लाइक लेट से यू आर राइटिंग ऑन द इकोनॉमिक स्पेयर एंड यू ऑलरेडी गिव द सम इनपुट्स फॉर द एनवायरमेंटल एस्पेक्ट and then you give the sub heading for environment and they go on to write so that has to the flow has to be maintained now this one is little tricky too you know because we have the tendency of our gs because uh, we just write one dimension four points then another dimension header four points way forward and conclusion that creeps into here like uh, it does not appear so organic while reading it and uh, many a times what happens is that the examiner focuses right on the subheading you know the moment you write the subheading he will skip through the lines and jump onto the subheading and will assume that you have written similar to such points and uh, i will go on to the next subheading so it helps the examiner to understand what you have written but at the double edged sword he might not because he has already have the Notion that you are going to write on a social sphere, so he has already uh, sensed it, and uh, when he read, he finds the same. If he does not find it, he will be very angry. But if you are writing in the uh, paragraph one by boxing the keywords and going through it, it's like opening the layers. No, uh, reading and he will oh he has jumped. I uh, mean, he has uh, glided through from the economic to the environment very smoothly. Okay, very good. So they are double edged sword. Just write the essay. get to know whether you are there or not uh, do not uh, use the sub heading or heading to simplify your life use it whether uh, it is able to value add to your essay or not so write essay or one or two times you will be able to understand whether you are having the knack of it or not yeah yeah uh, there is always a convergence with the gs you know there is always a convergence with the gs because ultimately you are not preparing for the essay altogether i had spent 3 years working in sbi likhna chahiye ki nahi so i was working in a bank you know and uh, i was not able to value add anything what i had studied in 2016 and 17 i was just revising the same to write in 2018 19 20 all right so my entire preparation had gone down so much so that amount of 2020 could have been easily defeated by amount of 2016 so much so i was scoring so less 65 in gs3 77 in gs2 77 in gs1 86 in gs4 now do you think i had the content for essay i did not have any content so even with the format i was surviving with 120 just for the format and the structure and the need i was able to score 120 i was not able to score 140 or 50 because i was not able to bring relevant examples like jali ke to peta i said na such kind of examples i know there was remember the essay was media is a threat to like uh, there was this essay media is a 2019 the media is threat to the democracy one Uh, why is media is the threat to democracy one except for arnav goswami ka naam i did not know anything and i still I still went with this essay because i did not have the content maine kuch i had not prepared at all for this because uh, you know it is difficult to study somehow i had managed to read my optional and gs uh, and revise my gs but i was not able to evaluate and i was out of the current dynamics so that got reflected in my essay there was no content only the framework and only the flow on for that uh, only i was rewarded 121 so i i will say that i was very much uh, privileged to get those marks in this year 129 if you see i think many uh, this is a very good score if you ask me na this is at good at scoring 150 in 2016 because the marks has been scaled down Marks has already been scaled down. There are many friends who has who has scored one thirty last year. They have scored hundred twelve this year. And one of my friend, he has scored one twenty seven last year. Ended up scoring ninety seven this year. So uh, in the absolute terms, you can won't be able to see the marks of the essay. 
but in the relative term it is as good as what i was doing in the 2016 and 17 so this is it i was scoring less in the middle because i was not having content i was just coming with a framework and i was hoping and praying the examiner will give me the marks examiner was able to find ke dimension of thinking hai clarity of language hai introduction mein he understood the title so jo marks uh, the marks which are allocated for such subheading they were awarded for me but the content clarity this or uh, they were deducted that's why i was en ending with 120 so that is how it is no yeah you must do you know that 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 is the ultimate uh, aim that one has to make the life of examiner very easy so underlining the boxing they all very uh, very much help in the writing the essay you know okay uh, where are you going to use the underlining when you are writing the paragraph no you are writing the paragraph now examiner won't be reading everything but the connecting lines which you are doing na yeah important keywords you are bringing like you are writing on the society and you have written something on caste just underline the caste okay yes the keyword in that the main content just underline that that he has understood that you are covering the social sphere but should not skip through the caste one because that is the main tone of it so if you have not underlined the probability is that the examiner will uh, just skip it and go to the next one but they are also in a hurry to check the copy and they already uh, make the preconceived notion okay, what kind of student you are if you have uh, uh, started essay with a very important uh, wit or example or something like uh, in uh, 2016 one when i scored a high marks 156 the essay was if development is not engendered it will be endangered this was the title and actually this is the title of human development report 1995 and i knew it so i did not start with any poem slok or whatever anecdote i started with the human development report of 1995 title development is not engendered it will be endangered and the moment examiner had read this line he knew that the boy is knowing what he is going to write okay yeah uh there has to be uh no what happens is that there are certain criteria to divide the timeline so you will be taking 10 minutes to choose the essay which is going to be written by you and the moment you choose the essay in 10 minutes you already have something in your subconscious mind a lot of contents have already come up so you will be taking another 15 to 17 minutes to brainstorm so which dimensions and how it is going to be written and then in one hour you will be writing the essay so overall one hour 30 minutes it will be there let me tell you the experience of this time i ended up write, writing first essay in 2 hours because the self discovery i said now it was coming to interpretation so i was taking time to accommodate it but uh, by that time i had already read that uh, in section 2 i am going to write there are better practices to the best practices so in between my brain was also capturing that those aspects okay, okay i will be using that example and i will be using that dimensions so when i started writing i did not have to think much like i thought for 5 to 10 minutes and then ended up writing the essay in 15 minutes i did not take any time to choose the essay because uh, ultimately i had already decided by writing the first essay itself that i am going with it so you have to manage it there will be time it won't be very rigid like 5 minutes 10 minutes uh, you can have your flexibility and uh, just do it uh, don't get bogged down by this time pressure yes. how do you balance the content and the sectoral temporal and sectoral na look uh, the thing is temporal will have 20 or 25% of the body content and the sectoral will have the uh like if it is 100% i am talking about the temporal and sectoral it will have 20 25 and it will be having 75% the sectoral one uh why it is so that you have to write the essay in the current context a lot and that is why the sectoral one which is in the current context they will occupy major chunks and temporal one is just to set the tone that you know what has happened over the years and in this way you will be coming up so uh, in the temporal one you want to have the sectoral one 
so let's say you are writing ancient india and then you are talking about the economic polity of there that will have no value in the present context and uh, make things little uh, weird too Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you have the liberty. Like uh, you will be writing uh, if if you are writing, uh, let's say the political sphere, you have the liberty to go till nineteen forty seven. You have the liberty because this is the modern time. So uh, you have the liberty to go till nineteen hundred even. Th- that is the ancient one, medieval and modern one. So modern starts from what seventeen hundred seven. basically this is the timeline when we say that we have entered into the like uh, from medieval to modern zone we are entering into so uh, here in the contemporary context when we are writing sectoral you have the liberty to go to 100 years backward polity uh, our polity has to be explained so the base year will be 1947 so you will be jumping there that's fine could you repeat the question once again i, I missed it for example uh, that the bias period is sectoral yes uh, we have for example let us go to say medieval could you talk about the other way around for example media system is different in different points so that it differentiates between the political and the economic policy of the so basically uh, use the term committed media the media which is committed to the policy of the government and instead of saying the biased matlab you will make the tone that uh, certain media is committed to the policies of the government and it is important in this context it may seem biased but it is helping in the implementation of the welfare schemes creating the awareness and as a set tone set karke you can write one page but don't use okay, biased it itself a negative term so in a state uh, uh, just change it the context saying that the biased in the term of committed and committed to the cause of the people welfare schemes and then the media is doing this so ultimately serve the people through it so vaise wala karke you can write one page it will make your essay good but don't make it the biased itself total matlab wo bias wala word don't use it explicitly just change it yes the thing is uh, why did the technology come first you know technology came because our population went beyond the certain threshold so through the physical means we could not uh, uh, allocate resources optimally to the people so the technology was introduced to allow the uh, sufficient allocation of the resources to allow people to have uh, division of labor certain people becoming doctors certain people becoming uh, engineers and certain certain things so technology has helped us in this regard and therefore technology is not uh, uh, allowing us to lose our focus rather it is a pa- integrated part of it but at the same time if we are not aware it may get out of the hand and may dictate us uh, through the mouth of others so one has to be very mindful of it in this way you can write the conclusion dono ko incorporate karke aur uske baad kar sakte ho and Yes. हाँ ये ये तो ये तो करना ही है योर फिलोसफिकल एसेस विल हैव द इंडियन स्कूल ऑफ फिलोसफी चार वाका बुद्धिज्म जैनिज्म एवरीथिंग दे विल बी हैविंग एग्जामिनर डज नॉट केयर नो ही डज नॉट रिमेम्बर मतलब you can go with the same time same format in both the essays i have used it in 2016 17 11 have scored i use the same template i started with the quote uh, in both the essays and ended with the poem in both the essays and i got good marks so examiner does not uh, care ki what you have used maybe that is your style of writing you don't need to show the diversity in your writing the uh, it is better to show the consistency but if you are able to fulfill the demand uh, that is it 
so it totally depends on you you write the answer you will come to know that whether you are able to get the gist of it or not you know you know yes yeah i have written the institutions actually that is i will be explaining in the matlab main major chunk one because that is very important abhi main bataunga na if kya kya like you have to write about media uh, education culture aise karke likhna hoga so in this way it won't work <laughs> 